typically on this channel, I call out people that I think are morally reprehensible and shouldn't be members of society. However, in this case, this person's not morally reprehensible. I just don't like them. Hey everyone, shoe nice again. Well, basically, yes, I have a manager and he's putting a lot of money and time into shoe nice SOL. Solana for life. So either way, invest a little bit of money in this name. You know it's already a worldwide trademark. And me as an advertiser, yeah, Shoe Nice Solana is going to go to the top. Now, a lot of people would say that Shoe Nice is a legend in his own right for the past stunts and antics that he's performed. However, I don't have those same rose colored glasses that they do. To me, when I see Shoe Nice, I see somebody that is barely making what you would call content. In my opinion, he's just one step above one of those girls that sit on TikTok Live and rate your profile picture and give you a better rating the more money that you send. Hell, I'm not even sure if the content that he made in the past would be considered content. To me, it's just lowbrow low tier low effort bullshit hey everyone shoe nice again if you hear noises in the background that's just the ghosts that want me to move out of the house either way family friendly three cans of chicken noodle soup some say it heals colds either way there's nobody on youtube that has ever taken three regular cans of chicken noodle soup. I don't know what he's talking about because I'm on YouTube and I steal from the grocery store all the time. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Don't call the police. However, just because you're the only one to do something doesn't mean that it's actually something worth doing. Like, I'm the only one that sleeps in my bed. I'm not getting on YouTube like, hey, scapegoat here again. I'm going to sleep in my bed tonight. Buy my cameo. But, uh, yeah. I mean, the worst thing for me is I can't stand carrots. Either way, what's going to happen is I'm going to bust open each can. I'm going to eat that can. And I'm going to go for the next one. And I know it will be within a minute. I'm going to get ready for bed. Lay down. Put my head on the pillow. Pull my blankies up. And I'm going to be out. And I know it's going to be less than a minute. At this point, he spent more time aggrandizing the act that he's about to perform than performing the act that is fairly nominal. Now, maybe if he was upside down riding a unicycle, then yeah, there would be some really impressiveness to it. However, he's just sucking down some salty chicken broth. <laughs> On your mark, game face. <laughs> Get set, Mark Simpson face. Can you guys stop on that roofing? <sighs> and if actually, I want to ask Steve, will do it. Can you um, try this, um, Mad Stony, L.A. Beast? Joey's World Tour, Report of the Week, running on nerdness. Anybody that thinks, because I know the average human can't do what I can do. The concentrate of the soup, you know what I mean? It has this, um, I don't know, nastiness to it. You got to add water and you got to cook it. Noodles will always be noodles and bacon is always cooked. Either way, on your mark, game face, <laughs> get set, Mark Simpson face, I want soup, it takes care of the nostrils. Peak comedy gold, I have never seen anything funnier in my life. I can't believe I haven't thought of doing weird facial expressions in a mid-tier Marge Simpson impression. You guys like this? Is this what, is this what does it for you? <sighs> Did we already do that? That's all right. Just getting the stomach relaxed. My motto is relax the throat. I can't even remember. It's been so long. We've only been on YouTube nine years. Imagine in the next 20. Look at the legacy I already started. I'm getting the second check mark that nobody's ever gotten on a channel that was shut down. Just go ask YouTube. They'll tell you. All right, here we go. Three bottles, uh, I mean three cans of chicken noodle soup. Um, I'll crack each seal as I go. I just want to get this in a minute. I know I can. <clears throat> Let me put the spoon down and put a lot of it so we don't cut ourselves. Shoe nice. Oh, I would have never done that with a spoon in my hand. 
before we get into this, why not go ahead and just have the cans open? This way you don't have to worry about it. I don't think anyone would fault you. I don't think that anybody would have thought that you watered down the chicken broth inside. And honestly, I'm not even sure if you need the spoon, at least until you get to the end of the can, because you're going to be drinking the broth. And with that broth, the noodles are just going to be sliding down your throat, get your mind out of the gutter, and then you're going to just consume it like normal. <laughs> What I really appreciate is the added flourish of spinning the can as he put it into his mouth. It made it look so much more impressive. And the crazy part is the audio picked it up so much better than when he's actually speaking into the fucking microphone. Time. Time. Can't, ah, I love juice. Don't ever judge a video off of a little noodle. This is actually my motto. Don't judge me because I have a tiny noodle. Judge me because my YouTube videos are bad. Little noodle ain't her near. Little noodle. Like little, little tiny things sticking to the side. There ain't even nothing in here. I'll try and get them all. <clears throat> You can take the deviation off the noodle size with the size of your mouth. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not entirely sure what he said. It was not audible. It was not intelligible. And I'm pretty sure all the sodium has given him a stroke as he is trying to pronounce whatever he's saying. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something right now. Let me tell you something right now. You can be the hero of anybody. You can be the... Listen, Steve will do it. And nobody gonna eat after you. I don't get right. They're empty. Honestly, at this point, he is so out of breath and unintelligible, he might as well run for president because him and Joe Biden would be on the same fucking level. And as this can of the news going, uh, chunks of pie processed chicken chunk. Uh, it don't matter. Hey, Tom, if you can be, don't say Matt Stoney will do fucking 60 cans in five minutes. I'll do your mom in 10. Shut up. Oh, good old I'll fuck your mom jokes. Haha, <laughs> he got him. He fucking got him. I'll tell you what, boy. He did the equivalent of building you a house out of popsicle sticks and then tried to sell you a $1.3 million chalet pie backwards pie forwards all night and all day. Shout out to Harden Firm. I don't know if you catch the reverence, but let me know. When he's not busy sucking down chicken noodle soup, he has claimed an all out holy war jihad on his liver it's quick crack into the seal Whew, i hate cinnamon anything either way on your marking face oh, special guest meth face i knew you'd be back drinking and if anybody says why your bubble is forming at the bottom after i slam it you try and slam a bottle the oxygen goes into the bottle to be honest, I don't think anybody is questioning why there are air bubbles forming at the bottom of a bottle as you're trying to suck down a half gallon of fireball. I think the main question anyone would be asking is why are you doing this? Furthermore, why are you doing this in a library? Now to me, it looks like he is hanging on to any type of clout or relevancy that he used to have. And to be honest, it seems like he kind of just peaked in college where he might have been able to impress people with party tricks, yet he doesn't seem to be able to let go of the past and evolve as a person or even a content creator it gives off very you can't teach an old dog new tricks either way i hope that wasn't a pubic hair it's too nice The only thing that you need to call time on is a dead career that you're hanging on to to desperately push your fucking cameo and shill cryptocurrency. Hey everyone, Shoe Nice again. 
Well, basically, I'm 55 years old. I'm 55 days sober. And next year in 2025, still alive, I'm coming at people like a beehive. That's right, Steve will do it. I'm still here, guys. But now I have a foundation, a compound to train in. So either way, that's happening in 2025, still alive. Anyways, we got cameo, guys. This month is my busiest because I do the draft order for about 100 fantasy football leagues. I just got a cameo alert talking to you. So either way, I want you to put on your game face shirt. Head on over to Cameo.com. I've done over 24,000. Most of them are returning customers over six years now. 7,000 five-star reviews. Go check it out. Now, I hate to be the one to be self-confident. However, I feel like I need to start a Cameo because if he can do it, good Lord knows I can too. But I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I can't do it. Maybe it's a lot harder to send a personalized message to someone than I think it is. This person in my comment section says, I leave the room to cut my grilled cheese and come back to a discussion about zombie footwear. Hey guys, Scapegoat here. Just wanted to say that it is always very, very important to have the appropriate footwear nearby because one minute you're in your kitchen cutting a grilled cheese. Next thing you know, you hear the glass shatter and zombies come rushing in to try to suck out your brains. But I know that you'll be okay because I taught you about always being prepared with the proper footwear no matter where you are. Hopefully your grilled cheese was good. I just want to know where's mine. In this comment, Lissy says that she is dying at my rendition of Big Back. Well, Lissy, this rendition is for you. Big Back, Big Back, Big Back, Big Back. I don't like Big Macs. That's a big fact. The sauce is big whack. I'm sorry, that's a, I don't know. I can't, I don't have anything else. You know what, that's fine, that's okay. You know what, it could be a lot harder than I thought it was. I take it back. I take it big back, big back. In this comment, the incredible general let me know exactly what homo flexible actually is. And I will say I cannot put that on Cameo. However, if you do go subscribe to my free phonely ands, you can see it all there. Either way, you haven't gone to Cameo, I need to stay in the top 10. There's Hank Schrader, there's Brett Favre, Kurt Angle all kinds of people we need to stay ahead just go check it out it's ten dollars five friends two apiece roast somebody just have a good time today with cameo because that's all i'm doing today cameo shoe nice and you get free dms to me forever all right guys so that's it um yeah it was 420 about two seconds ago on this video you guys have a wonderful day, and always remember, hi as a kite, because it's all right. Thank you. Go get a cameo now. I'm serious. If I get 10, 20 cameos in the next few hours, maybe I'll pop out that cayenne pepper and throw it up my nose. Thank you. You like the new iPhone? It's kind of weird. It makes my eyes green. <laughs> So in the first clip of the video, he shills a cryptocurrency, Shunai Solana. I will say that if you ever, I mean ever see me shill a goddamn cryptocurrency, do not buy it. I've been paid an exorbitant amount of money to do it, and it is a scam. Fuck Logan Paul, fuck Boogie, fuck FTX. So let's go check out some of those high quality cameos that he's out here shilling. Hey Alex, with an A, Shunai again. Uh, basically, I'm just here to put on my game face shirt and say either way, the happy birthday to you. And I said a happy birthday to you. A happy 18th birthday to Alex J. From mom. May you always out drink your father and may you never puke in another puke couch, whatever that is. Always remember, Rakie is the best, but vodka opens your heart. And I said a happy birthday to you. Either way, enjoy the day wherever you guys live. Thank you.
Oh my god, I was wrong. I did not understand the high level of quality and input that Shoe Nice is putting into these videos. I mean, shit, this is high quality production value. I didn't even have to take the cameo videos and do to them what I had to do to the YouTube videos to make them even audible to the peasants out there. I mean, for Christ's sakes, I couldn't think of anything that I would rather spend $10 on. Actually, you know what? For 10 bucks, I could get a Big Back Big Mac. Hey, coach from Family of Gamers, Shoe Nice again. Basically, I heard you were the one and only reason the Rebs are back in Dead Zone. Congratulations. Either way, you are the only person who wanted the Rebs back. Not even Andrew. It was only your idea. Your idea. Your idea. Your idea. Yankee. You mean for $10 I can get an old man struggling with alcoholism to barely look into the camera while reading a script piss poorly? Do you know what I would be willing to say and do for $10? I am a man with questionable morals and ethics. I will do whatever the highest bidder pays for. And if you're going to pay me to talk to you, I'll make sure I make eye contact. And I don't know, I could be a hater. However, I don't feel that this qualifies as content or content creation. This is literally fucking brain rot. Hey, TikTok, YouTube, and Twitter X. Did you guys hear that? Because I didn't. He is literally so incompetent that he is talking directly into the microphone and you can't fucking hear him. Hey, TikTok, YouTube, and Twitter X. Shoe nice again. Well, basically, I got to get back to my roots. I want to get on top of the roof with my boots. He's got to get the roots underneath his boots to be on the roof. This guy is a fucking wordsmith. Have you ever seen Tupac and Shoe Nice in the same room at the same time? I think not. Hey everyone, Shoe Nice again. Well, basically, welcome back to another Shoe Nice ASMR PSA. Well, basically, I joined Cameo six years ago. Since then, I've over done over 22,000 cameos. I got 7,000 five star rated reviews and either way I just want to let you guys know that I sing songs for any occasion. Birthdays, anniversaries, prison releases. Did you hear him say that he's doing ASMR? I had to go in, post edit, turn his volume up to the highest setting I could turn it up to and I still can't fucking hear him. The sheer audacity is just baffling to me because I can't process how someone doesn't give enough shits to edit the audio of their video that they're putting online to beg for money. And yes, I am saying that he is online begging for money because at this point, what am I paying for? Because objectively, he's not funny, he's not entertaining, and he's just writing off a legacy that should have been dead 20 years ago. And honestly, to me, the worst part about it is the interactions that he has with his fans in the comment section of his YouTube video. But Phillips says it's got to be even worse doing these sober and which shoe nice replies by pushing his cameo as a matter of fact all these fans of shoe nice were sincere enough to actually drop a comment and their sincerity was met with a push for his cameo here he actually switches it up in response to a comment by pushing his fucking cryptocurrency i've spent a little while going through his comment sections and the only time he responds in sincerity is when he is being trolled mcgoblin comments there's going to be a documentary about this man in a couple years but he does not seem well, in which Shoe Nice actually responds saying, um, Medicare, Vice, Oompaville, H3, and many more have already done a documentary. Mario comments, Shoe, are you actually making enough money from your crap online to survive in life? In which he responds, Cameo is my job, biatch, and then he pushes his cameo. However, when actual fans leave positive comments out of the kindness of their heart, they are met with nothing but a sales pitch. This person said, I am so happy for you that you're sober, you rock, where they are met with a push for their cameo. Shu, I'm honestly really happy you're stepping away from making crazy content. You're one of the few genuine dudes out there like LA Beast who film crazy stuff. I hope you're taking care of yourself, sir. Cameo. I don't give a fuck what they say, Shu. You're still here uploading the shit that people love. Keep up the good work, champ. Cameo. And from what it looks like to me is the only time that you're ever going to get a comment from him is when you're trolling him because he looks at his fans as a business opportunity. And in my opinion, he is no different 
than a Logan Paul or a Boogie2988. He's just waiting on the next sucker to sign up on Cameo. And to wrap this up, I will agree that legends never die, but goddammit, legacies deserve to. Shoe Nice 22, welcome to the fucking petting zoo.